What's up everybody, it's Justin Romind here and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I make videos all about filmmaking from tutorials to vlogs to reviews. So if you're interested in that type of content, consider subscribing. So in today's video, I'm gonna talk about my best export settings for Instagram videos. I'm also gonna give a pro tip at the end. Uh, one of the things I like to do is I like to do stacked behind the scenes videos on my Instagram. And a lot of people send me a DM or a comment on the video, hey, Hey, what are your export settings? How do you do that? How do you stack the videos? So I'm going to answer that question as a little bonus tip at the end of this video. So let's dive right into it. Now I have Premiere Pro open right here. This is actually the running video that I did of Jamie, my wife, running through our neighborhood. Kind of do encourage people to run during this COVID-19 thing that's going on in the world right now. But here's what I do. I go to File, Export, Media. And then I already have my preset right here, but I'm gonna walk through the steps that I took to actually save that. Uh, you always wanna change the file output name and where it goes to. Uh, this was shot on the Ninja 5, so that's why it has that. I always keep the video settings, like the height and width of the frame, I keep all that the same. I do check this render at maximum depth. And then encoding settings, I always do software encoding. Profile is high and my level was at 5.2. I never go above 5.2. Uh, I did in the past and I was having some issues with actually airdropping the video to my phone uh, and also some errors of it uploading to Instagram. So never go higher than 5.2. And then you keep going down because you can't really edit anything else except the bit rate. When you get to the bit rate, uh, there's VBR one pass, VBR two pass and CBR. CBR stands for constant bit rate. Uh, what I do is I, for Instagram videos, I do CBR, constant bit rate of 20. Now, a lot of people may think that's overkill for Instagram, but me, that gives me the highest quality export. And if I'm uploading my content to Instagram while I'm connected to a good Wi-Fi, I haven't had any issues with it compressing the video too much or destroying the quality. I mean, I mean, you can take a look at my Instagram, at Films. look at some of the videos that I upload, uh, and this is my export settings for all those videos, so check it out. And then you scroll down, nothing else to do there. I don't ever mess with the audio, but I use use maximum render quality, time interpolation, optical flow, and then click export and you're done. So now for the bonus tip, uh, what I do is I edit my video, the final product, and I always put the final product at the bottom of my Instagram videos with the behind the scenes being on top. Or sometimes I'll do a timeline recording to show kind of my my timeline for that video. So what you do is you go to File, New, Sequence. And all I do is I do my normal 1080 timeline, 23.976. I go to my settings, and instead of having a 1080, because what we wanna do is we wanna stack two 1080 videos on top of each other, right? So all we're gonna change is the vertical aspect. Instead of 1080, we're gonna double that, so 2160. And then you click OK, and then that'll pull up this right here, which is a stacked version. And then I drag and drop the footage on there, keep existing settings, click on the video, and then you just drag it to the very bottom. And then what I end up doing, you can see the completed sequence right here. I go through and I manually put in the GoPro footage to line up with the exact clip that I'm displaying in the video. So pretty simple, that's how I do it. Well, that's it for me, y'all. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help my channel. And again, if you like this kind of content, consider subscribing. I look forward to bringing you more videos in 2020.